Welcome back, part two of our career mode game here on uh, RBI Baseball 20 on the Nintendo Switch. And we are the Houston Astros facing the Los Angeles Angels. If you've not seen the first part, be sure to check that out. I'll stick a link up the top. We are in the top of the third and uh, six to nothing down after a disastrous first innings. We saw a grand slam. Get that picture across there. Come on. Verlander. Um, yeah, stuff like that looks great. I mean, we picked up the uh, the runner from first base. Pitcher made his way over there, Verlander. And uh, as we threw it, he just kind of stopped in his tracks rather than being sort of a fluid motion. So that kind of stuff, not great. Uh, yeah, so uh, Grand Slam in the first innings. A couple of other runs. And... Uh, what started out as one as one of Verlander's uh, top pitches is change up. We take a look at that there. Absolutely no confidence in it after getting smacked around the outfield uh, with that pitch. Lost all confidence in it. And I don't know how to get confidence back into that pitch, I guess. As we uh, get rid of Simmons. Uh, I guess we need to just, you know, get back on the horse and uh, get back on the bike. Start throwing it again. We uh, clip the lower corner of the strike zone against Albert Paul Holes. Let's chase one inside. Let's see if we can get a nice one, two, three out. Paul Holes lays off the curveball inside. We'll go back to this change up. Oh, look at the. <laughs> Let's maybe not do that. You see the, the difference here. We go back to the change up. <clears throat> look at the reticle of <laughs> that. Of, that, of, of a pitch with zero confidence. Let's try see what happens if we throw that out there. Yeah, way off the plate. So, I don't know how we're going to get confidence back into that pitch. I guess... I guess that pitch is done as we pitch Albert Pujols off the plate and uh, keep it to a no-score inning for the Angels. You may notice um, in between transitions and stuff here, there's no music. Um, for some reason, the... Uh, well. I know why, but the, the uh, licensed music causing a problem with the video, so I've just turned off all the in-game music for now as the uh, first pitch goes low to Carrera. Who's pitching for him? Heaney. Straight down the middle. That should have been dealt with. Carrera laying off it. It's low, but we get a hit. Are we going to make it the first? Free chase it. And we make it safe. So our first hit of the game gets us to third base good pitch off speed and high oh, one inside Tucker swinging away at that one and that's low uh, yeah curve ball courts out Stubbs catcher up next Oh, it was an early swing on that one. Korea is quite quick. We could send him off. Oh, could uh, could send him off to steal a base. He's gone. And he makes it safe to second base. So, nice lead off. Let me get Korea to second base. Whoa, that's way outside. And again, it's going to take a lot of pitches, I think, to start reading where these are coming in. That's just an awful attempt. So, again, no hits. Apologies, not doing a great job of showing the offense off in this game. Verlander back up at the mound. Into uh, the top of the fourth. Got about half a stamina left, but given the events of the first inning, I may look to uh, pull him out sooner rather than later. Bregman goes for first and gets the out. Guriel, glove in the throat. This slider, though, we've been consistently going back to this slider, and you can see now if we uh, we pick it, we've got full confidence and full quality in that pitch. So it's the pitch we're working on. At the minute, mixing it up with a 
decent four seam fastball. Which tending to get a little bit of success high and inside. So now as we get hit to the outfield for a first hit of this innings. Nice curveball in there. Yeah, drifted the slider away. Whoa, terrible attempt from, uh, I didn't see who that was, but Lestella up next. But uh, yeah, that pitch was way inside. It's like one of my swings. Lestella, who uh, got a ground rule double, I think it was... First up for the Angels. Uh, one of his first hits was a grand double. We've got a, a run up. Yeah, just everything just feels a little bit delayed. Like they're just, I was sort of hammering on the uh, X button there to, to get a, a throw off to second base. Just didn't happen. And that's going high and that's going long. Off the wall. Despairing dive from Tucker. And we've got him in a rundown, and he's out. Terrible decision to make that run, so get the innings out, get away with one run. Uh, Jose Altuve up next for the Astros. Let's see if we can get some hits. Come on. Come on, Jose. We've got to stop swinging at everything. So we can lay off the next one. Low and away again. Seems to be a, an area they're targeting Altuve on low and away. Well, it's a decent enough connection, but Altuve be run out at first. Brantley up next. Whoa, that's inside. Now, if you if you are powering up a, a hit like that, you can elect not to hit by just keeping the B button held down. So we'll try that here. Let's see if we just keep the B button held down. The swing doesn't happen. And that's inside. Bregman. A couple of practice swings. He's going for the fences. Come on. That's decent. Oh. Well... Decent connection, and it's kind of glitched into the, the third baseman's hands. So, uh, Trout, Upton, and Goodwin up next for the Angels. It's not a trio you want to be facing. And Verlander got his work cut out. He's in kind of the lower echelons of his stamina. So, let's pull him out of the lineup, and let's who should we put in? Let's put in Brian Abreu. Let's try that again. Get in there. Okay, Abreu has a four-seam fastball, a slider, and a curveball. It seems to favour the curve. Let's go with an early fastball. Low and inside for a strike. And uh, Verlander's slider was working well. So first, come on, throw it. I'd say I was saying throw it there because it looks like you can't really preload a throw like you can on some other baseball games. So you kind of you know got to run to the ball, pick up the ball, and uh, and then hold down the throw button again isn't ideal. Just these little things just um, you know take that smoothness out of the gameplay. If you could preload a throw, no reason you know. But preloading throws has been in baseball games you know, forever, so there's no reason. You shouldn't be able to preload a throw as you're running towards it. You know, in real life, if you're running towards it, you know where you're going to throw it. You're already thinking about the mechanics of throwing that ball to first base. You wouldn't sort of run to the ball, pick it up, stop, and then think, oh, I need to throw this to first base. So, just these little things. Just wish they were just tweaked and polished a little bit. Abreu deals with two, though. Has good win at the plate. 2-6 average. 
not the best. Swings wildly at a slider inside. And this curveball is a, a good pitch that Abreu keeps going back to. Gets smacked high into the outfield. And spring up. We'll glove that for an easy out. So, definitely stop the bleeding. One run in the last four innings for the Angels, but they're sitting comfortably 7-0 up. Alvarez up for Houston. I keep vowing to myself, I'm not going to swing, and I just can't help myself. Okay. It's a decent hit, and that's well caught. Coming off the inside of the bat. I quite like the, uh, the back graphic they've got there, back where it's uh, come off the bat. I'll lay off that one, Guriel. Ooh, felt like I had the the measure of that one. One ball, one strike. Ah, oh, I tried to lay off that. I could see it was going outside. Ooh, and that's gone high, and that's going high, and ah, oh, just to the side. Of the foul line. One of my better hits in the game so far. And again, and we've got a hit down into the outfield. Run, 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 run. Going to make it to second. First double of this game. And Guriel and Correa up next. And they're trying to pick Guriel off at second. It's going nowhere with one out. Good pitch. Korea happy to take it. Takes another one. Two strikes down. That's a ball. Low ball. It's good. It's making the pitcher work now. Yeah, and that's a terrible pitch. Terrible swing. Two outs. One on. Okay. Got the hang of that one. Not keen on that mechanic after as well. It's a shame. Another little bit of polish would be nice there. You know, it mentions in the tutorial to keep the B button held down if you don't want to swing. But then I, I would, you know, I want to see that swing cancelled at the end of the pitching animation. I don't want to then see let go of the B button and see the the batter swing. It just looks silly. Definitely got a read on this pitcher now though. And we get a walk. Nice. So two on. Picking up these pitches. Only three pitches in his arsenal. They're all going to be off speed. So maybe it's just a matter of timing. Sinker to change up on the curve. Going low to stubs. Oh, he's running out of stamina. I guess they're going to take him out of, take him off the mound soon. But if we can take advantage of that low stamina. We can't. Awful. Well, I think they got away with that there. We were starting to get a read on the pitches. Got a couple of hits and a walk. And uh, I guess they're going to sub him out for the next inning. Which is the top of the six. Go back to the curveball for Abreu. Probably see this in and out. Get to the top of the seventh and uh, finish this one up. That's a good hit. And that's going to get down for a hit. Springer tidies it up in the outfield. Puyos. Up at the plate. That uh, fastball is a little bit all over the place at the minute. Hasn't got the quality or the confidence in that pitch. Ball. And again, going outside the plate. We have to be careful here. Two and one the count. 
Puyols. Takes it deep. Brantley completely misfields it on another glitch. Brickman dives straight over it. Just those little, it's just a collision detection. Again, there's a couple of examples just in this innings of how that collision detection just isn't, just isn't 100%, but also, you know, you, you'd kind of gamify it in the player's favour a little bit just to make it feel, oh, I don't want that pitch, um, just to make it feel a little bit more fun. It just feels a little bit unfair at the minute that, you know, that collision detection is causing us to sort of miss field and not get balls that we're close to. Oh, that was a close one. Another run across the uh, home plate, though. It's eight, ten, I think. That's a ball. Checking how much a bray who's got left in the tank is already a, sort of a quarter of his stamina gone. Oh, and he's lost command of his uh, pitches, so let's get him out of the firing line. We've got a sooner. Ryan Presley, he's not really ready. Armenteros. He's got a fastball slide, a curveball, and a change up. Get some heat out there. We've had a, a lot of off-speed off stuff for a while. And that's gone high. And that will get down. For another run. Nine to nothing. Houston being schooled here. Fastball way inside. What's our best pitch here? What have we got? Probably the slider. Again, get that going inside. See if we can catch him on the outside of the plate. Get him to reach for something. Now we've got a strike. Just nibbling the uh, the plate. Oh, and again, that collision detection. It's frustrating. And again, the throw in. Can't preload a throw. 11-0. Come on, the Astros. Got no outs here as well. We are banging trouble. This one really getting embarrassing. And that's taken to the outfield. And oh, that's a good catch. Finally, some fielding goes in our favour. Justin Upton to the plate. Good pitch. Stand that slider. Again, getting into chase to the outside. Easy as that. Last out. Good win back up. See if we can really get him to stretch. That's way outside. Uh, let's get back on that slider. It's a good hit. It's going to be another run. Oh no. Hold up third. Should be another out. Oh dear. Well, it was about six foot away from the ball, but caught. Cool. So four runs. Added in that inning. See if we can turn it around. Yeah, pitching change. Buttray up for the Angels. Ball. Starts with a wild one. Low and away, fastball. 
It's got a fastball slider and a change up. And again, outside. And again, we laid off it. So, promising signs. They were getting the hang of this. First three pitches, three balls. I won't be happy with that. Inside. And that's a walk. We'll take that. How to they? Springer on the first. And that's a good hit from Altuve. Fly ball though, may not carry. It's not going to carry. Springer will stay at first. Good hit through the outfield. We'll take that. Two on for Brigman. Ah, oh, that was should have left that. It's a good pitch. Yeah, that was a good one as well. Okay, Alvarez. Oh. Come on. Possibly the last pitch of this video. Still might be. Well, we've got a few bats to the ball there. And a mercy rule's called. So it will be the last pitch and the last action of this video. There won't be a third part. So there you go. Mercy rule called. 11-0. Forgot to turn off the mercy rule. But there you go. The Angels romping the Astros. 11 to nil. So I hope you enjoyed the uh, the video there. Sorry for the lack of offense offered up. I uh, did kind of get a hang of it towards the end there, um, getting that hang of the timing and everything. So hopefully with a little bit of practice, um, you can get used to these new mechanics in RBI Baseball 20. Uh, quite changed, obviously. You know, some things are the same. Still got a slightly uh, janky collision detection. Uh, slight fielding stutters and stuff so that remains the same the main mechanics look to be the uh, the pitching and the batting mechanics that are much changed from previous franchises uh, free previous entries in the franchise um so yeah let me know what you think please leave me a comment below sorry there won't be a third video on this game but i may well do another quick video uh, and also get my final review out once i've played a few more games myself and gone through more of the uh the career or the uh, the franchise mode. See how the trades work and stuff. But I will be back for that. Uh, thanks again for watching. And uh, look forward to seeing you again soon. Cheers everyone. Bye bye.